And look who's here, Selena yes. Gomez. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Oh, so good to see you. Yes, Ellen's are. already crying. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So I, I want to get right to this because we've been talking about you being here, and it's a, it's a, it's a really important day. Mm. Um, and, and I think that this is a, it's an important conversation to have. Let me play the beginning of the music video. This, this dialogue that you're going to hear, this conversation that you're going to hear, is Selena um, by herself, and we'll talk a little bit about it, but listen. That is really powerfully, scarily vulnerable. Mm. Did you go into a room by yourself and turn on a microphone? Yeah, they um, they taped the mic underneath the table when I was shooting the video, and I had shot the video over a year ago. So in that state where I was in that place emotionally, I went in and I went into the room by myself and I looked at the actual mirror in the music video. And I had a conversation about... To, to to myself, to what to every question I had in my mind in that moment, what wow, this feeling changes everything and and you can't help it. And I think it just happened and and we picked a few of the the clips and and it kind of worked perfectly. It was where I was in that in that. So time. this is obviously it's about your relationship with Justin. Mm -hmm. There's no secret there. Were you and are you nervous about? letting everybody in and letting everybody hear what exactly is going on in your mind and in your heart? Why everybody wants to form their own opinions anyway. Well, that that's what I wonder. Did you feel like you needed to explain yourself because it's so played out in the media? I think I think the biggest problem I had this year, even with with him and, and on his side, is identity. I think people, I'm literally, I, I was 21 this year, I turned 22, I was trying to figure out what I'm doing. And it was the first time that I was constantly being kicked down for doing that. When I didn't know, I just wanted to say this, this is what I want. I don't, this is where I am. Mm -hmm. In my professional life, things changed. In my personal life, things changed. My heart, everything. And people just thought, all right, well, this is what we think. And yeah, I made some decisions that weren't great as well. And, and so did he. And and that's why I feel like we went through all that to only make us better. And he has heard it and, and he has seen the video. And it's something that I feel like girls need to hear. And it's something I'm willing to share with people. What did Justin say to you after he saw the video and after he heard the song for the first time? Um, he thought it was beautiful. I think it was really hard at first. Did he cry like I did the first time he saw it? <laughs> I think he was a little jealous of the video guy at first. <laughs> um, Good. He should be. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, it, it, music is is an expression. And for me to be able to, to, if you will, be that voice for these girls, there are so many people that feel this. This but, is but by the way, it's not only girls. Dudes feel this right. too. It's, it's a like, heart. It, it's like the brain is telling you yeah. for everything that you should be doing that is reality, and then this other organ takes over and makes you do things. Yeah. Like what are we? What's the answer to that? What are we? Who are we supposed yeah. to listen to? Our brain or our heart? <laughs> I think we're always going to have that choice, no matter how old you are. It's like you're going to do something and you're going to say, this might be right, this might be wrong, but I'm just going to go for it and see what happens and hope for the best. So you said you shot the video a year ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me what transpired in that year. Did you think about releasing the song right away and hold it back? The video was supposed to come out three times and through coincidence or through changes it just didn't happen and like changes in your life or in changes my in life music? Yeah. in your life your and, real life and it's also a step for me knowing like okay this is what I'm about to say and I need to say it when I'm ready mm -hmm. and I think after this year it's the perfect way to end the year it's the perfect way to end a chapter in a way it's it's like this is what I'll say about every single person that has judged me for every decision I've made, for every pe every person, every heart that is being judged for something they've done. And now I just want to release it and I want to keep going and I want to work on things and have all the focus then just be on what I love and have fun and new music and a new chapter in my life. I'm excited. Is the chapter over? Like, Do you feel like this is is the book closing? I think in a lot of ways... I'm just at peace now. You know, I think there's a struggle with figuring out 
is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know what the future holds. And that's exactly what I say in the song. What do you think you've, what do you think you've learned? Like, I know that you've reflected a lot. Yeah. And, and I know that you spent time getting to know who you are. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think you have learned when you wake up in the morning and you say, okay, a year ago, I didn't think this or know this. What is it? How to love myself first. And not just in a relationship in my everyday life. I give myself so much. I let people pull at me in every direction and I want everybody to be happy. Mm -hmm. And eventually I would, I mean, I would be in my bathroom sobbing right before I'd go on stage and then I'd just put myself on stage and, and I'd want the, I'd want to be there for those people. I never took a moment to just go, mm -hmm. go away and be myself and figure it out. I kept pushing myself. And I think the biggest thing I learned is it's okay. I'm going to stop when I need to stop. I'm going to feel when I need to feel. And I don't care what comes with that or what people want to say. It's normal. I'm supposed to keep going and I just want to, that's all I want to do. You want to please everybody. Yeah, of course. When And we heard a few minutes ago that conversation you had, which is extremely, it's, it's fearless because like, that, that's the right word. It's like a fearless conversation to, to put out there. Mm -hmm. How much more was there to what you said? Because we only heard a few seconds of it. I spent a good five minutes. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, are those deleted scenes that we'll never hear, or we'll, yeah, will those they're gone forever. They're gone forever. <laughs> they're they're gone forever. <gasps> it was therapeutic. The whole idea of it was very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. It was, it was what I was seeing. Yeah. All I saw was black and white. All I saw was one thing, and I just kept going. I just kept putting. So, because I know everyone's curious, mm -hmm. and we're gonna hear the song again shortly. Selena Gomez is with us. This song is called "The Heart Wants What It Wants." It's so simple, but so smart and so true. What is your relationship like now with Justin? I support him. I, I think I always will. Uh, I, I get, I'm upset when he's upset. I'm happy when he's happy. Do you think you're close? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want anything ever to happen to him bad. Mm -hmm. It hurts me, mm -hmm. but that's all. Who would have thought you'd have fallen so deeply in love at such a young age, Selena Gomez? My <laughs> gosh. What are you going to do with the rest of the time? I don't know. Where, right? I mean, <laughs> eHarmony's next, for goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> so she's got calm. this. So would you, you would get married at some point. Yeah, I'm the, from Texas. Yeah, you have to, right. I might sneeze here in a second. I want a so ranch. Cover the show. <laughs> a ranch a and some ranch. animals. I want to ask a follow -up. Some babies. Sure. Um, do you have like Ryan puts time limits on himself? No, no, no don't you limits. dare! Yeah, I do. He 